Hey guys, um, Rich, back with you. I wanted to make another quick video. This one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I talk a lot about finance stuff. I know that's a bit of a snoozer sometimes. So what I thought I would do is share with you something that I think is just really exciting, off topic from finance, and it's one of my passions. As most of you know, especially if you've been to my office, you know I'm uh, very passionate about cars and racing, all that kind of stuff. And I had an experience uh, about a month ago that really for me was kind of a lifetime achievement. And I'm so excited about it, I just want to share it with all my friends. So what it was is, is back in the 1960s when all of the, the muscle car wars were happening, of course the big three were always battling who had the fastest muscle car, right? You had the Dodge Mopar guys and their big engine was the 426 Hemi. Uh, the Hemi is, the, the name still lives on today, right? Has that thing got a Hemi? Uh, Chevrolet had the, had the 409, the Beach Boys sang about the 409, and then they went and, and evolved into the big block Chevrolet. And Ford, uh, of course, was right in the middle of all of it. Uh, they were racing all over the place, and they were running an engine family known as the FE Series, but the big one, the one that made all the headlines, was the Ford 427. This is the motor that uh, was winning at the drag strips in the Galaxies um, and in the Ford Fair Fairlane Thunderbolt. Uh, the 427 Ford Cobras, you know, the Shelby Cobras, that was the engine in those. Uh, Ford, when they were winning NASCAR and dominating NASCAR, it was the 427 that was doing it for them. All the way up uh, until really about 1969, the 427 was the go-to for Ford Motor Company. The interesting thing about 427s, uh, for me, it's always been kind of the mecca to get to, right? Uh, it's rare that you ever see one. They were made in very limited productions. They were very expensive for Ford to make. Uh, and so to even see one is like just a treat. But I got a phone call from a friend and he said, hey Rich, uh, I'm out in West Valley City. There's an older gentleman here. He's selling everything. Uh, he's, he was a car guy. He had all sorts of parts and trucks and old cars around, which that kind of a phone call is kind of dangerous for me to receive just because I love old stuff. But he says to me, there's something in the garage I think you might be interested in. I think it's a 427. So keep in mind, this is like something that like, I've never even really seen, right? So we start digging and sure enough, it is an actual 427, uh, which is rare. However, this one's even more rare. This is where it gets really good. Ford had a couple of companies that they worked with specifically on racing programs. You've heard of Shelby, right? the Shelby Cobra and all that. Well, Shelby did a lot of their racing programs at Le Mans uh, and with the Shelby Cobra and the road racing circuit. There was another company, and it's actually in the movie Ford versus Ferrari, and they're called Holman Moody. Holman Moody is one of the major race teams that Ford employed to run NASCAR. And when they got to Le Mans and they were trying to beat Ferrari at Le Mans, not only did they hire Carroll Shelby to campaign a team, they brought in Holman Moody to compete against Shelby to see if they could get the two to battle it out and push each other. This motor came from Holman Moody directly. They actually built it and it was one of their race engines. Uh, this guy in West Valley, who's now in his 80s, had it in a boat. He bought it directly from them uh, and he raced it for a long period of time. Then he decided to get out of boat racing and he wanted to sell the boat, but the people who bought the boat couldn't afford what the 427 was worth. So he put it on a, on a crate shoved it in the back of his garage, covered it with some blankets, and it sat there for probably at least 30 years. Uh, now it's out in the light, and he said, you know what, my kids don't appreciate this stuff. I want it to go to somebody who will. I raised my hand. I said, you know what, I'll take care of that. And here it is in the shop. Um, so lots of really unique parts on this thing. I won't go into all that today, um, but it is super, super fun to, to find things like this. Um, and so what happened to me is I've always dreamed of having a very special car, which is in 1966, uh, again, Ford wanted to have the fastest cars out there. So they have the Ford Fairlane, which many of you know, I have a 66 Fairlane in the office here in the shop. Well, <clears throat> they made 58 of them is all they ever made, 58 with the 427. I just put a new motor in that car. And the second that I got my hands on this one, the new motor's coming out. And this Holman Moody 427 is going in uh, because I can't afford the real things. They go for several hundred thousand dollars now. Uh, we're going to build one that's a tribute that's about as close as you could get to a 66 Fairlane without having the real thing. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because it's so exciting to me. 
and uh, occasionally keep you all up on all of our adventures, but we'll talk soon. Mm-hmm.